Why did you start a ska band? Why did I start a ska band? Yeah, because I was I was afraid to start a rock band in a way. I played rock, I played punk, I played blues, I played all that stuff, and I loved it all. But I didn't uh, I didn't see a future in it, and I saw a future in ska and in reggae, and artistically I saw a future in it, like as a songwriter, because I'm a songwriter. I always was since I was a little kid, always making up songs. I just had discovered the specials. That was pretty much it. I discovered the specials. I already liked reggae. I already liked some old 60s ska. I saw a future in, in ska. And I also saw a built-in audience that even if it was only 10 people, you could go from town to town and you'd get 10 people. Whereas a rock band, you may get zero, you know? And how do you make a start as a rock band? It was tough. So I figured, oh, I can combine all these things. I, I, I saw something in it, you know? You know, like you see something in something. You're like, you're like hey, you know, that, that parking lot over there, like a great, you know, hamburger stand. You know, you just see it. And it was as if I saw the whole thing laid out. I was like, people just aren't using this music for what they can use it for. You know? They just don't see it. And I see it. I saw the I saw the similarity to this from this ska music. Not the old scene, but the modern scene. I saw the similarity to music that I liked which was Motown and Stax, 60s rock. And I saw it having all those potentials. And the bands, if you wanted to be in a rock band in New York in that late 80s, early 90s, you had to be playing some like noise rock. Otherwise nobody thought you were doing something like heavy. And if you, if you wanted to have horns in your band, everybody would be like, what are you, Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, what are you, Southside Johnny and the Jukes? I mean, who cares, you know? You'd have to be like, one of those guys. But Ska had it all. You could be Springsteen and Billy Joel and all that stuff, but you were still edgy. You were still a punk. You'd still be outside the club drinking a 40 ounce, even though you're wearing a suit, you know? They were girls. That's a big, big reason. I saw the future, man. I saw it. I was like, this, I can relate to this stuff, you know?